This program is brought to you commercial free through the generous support of the Kamehameha Schools. The Naughty Elepayo, retold by Malia Kruger, illustrated by Eve Furchgott. Kanaka had the responsibility of carrying water to his ohana. There was a large spring in the mountains, and the trail to this punavai was a long and rocky climb. Once his huevai was filled with water, Kanaka would make his way back home. One day, while in the shade of a rock, he had a strong urge to rest. His body was exhausted from the intense heat of the sun. There was a gentle breeze blowing, and Kanaka leaned against the pohaku and fell fast asleep. A curious little elepayo bird came and peered down at Kanaka. He flitted from a branch to the pohaku where Kanaka was resting. After a while, he flew down to Kanaka's huevai. He stared at the huevai and made sure Kanaka was sound asleep. Elepayo readied himself and then pecked away. Kikeke, kikeke, into his little beak made a puka in the huevai. The vai Kanaka had fetched for his ohana began to drip from the puka. Elepayo looked at what he had done and quickly flew back up to the branch of the kumula'o. Kanaka awoke and reached for his huevai. As he lifted it, he thought, Ho, oh, this feels really light. Eh, why is this dirt all wet? Kanaka then noticed the puka in his huevai and thought to himself, Who could have done this? He looked far and near until he saw Elepayo. Worthless bird, Kanaka yelled. He threw an ili ili and hit Elepayo on the leg. Oi! cried Elepayo as he flew away in a huff. His leg throbbing, Elepayo grew furious at Kanaka. He shouted, I'm going to call all the birds. Elepayo flew to meet his friend Eo and said, Eh, Eo, my hoa, help me. E kokua mai, help me punish Kanaka. What did Kanaka do to you? asked Eo. If Kanaka hurt you, he deserves to be punished. Limping, Elepayo answered, He threw an ili ili at me and hit my leg. Look, inana mai. Why? asked Eo. What did you do to him? Nothing, answered Elepayo. I just pecked a small little puka in his huevai. Eo responded, and all the vai he carried from the puna vai leaked out. Cha! Sheesh! No wonder Kanaka was angry. Go away, you naughty bird! Elepayo flew away and met up with Pueo. He said, E Pueo, mehoa, help me. E kokua mai, help me punish Kanaka. Look what he did to me, e nana mai. Poor thing, Pueo responded sympathetically. It was mean of Kanaka to hurt you like that. What did you do to him? I didn't even touch him, answered Elepayo. All I did was pick a small little puka in his huevai. It was just a tiny little puka. No big thing. Pueo exclaimed, Is that so? You truly are a naughty bird, a manukolohe. The vai Kanaka carried from the puna vai is gone. He was right to feel hu hu at you. Go away, heleaku. Elepayo flew off and reached Iivi. Elepayo thought Iivi was a good hoa. So he called out, E Iivi, my hoa, help me. E kokua mai. Help me punish Kanaka. Look what he did to me. Enana mai. Iivi replied, Did you do something to him? All I did was peck a small little puka in the side of his huevai, said Elepayo. Iivi scolded him. You were wrong to peck Kanaka's huevai. Shame on you. Carrying vai is hard work. Go away. Eleaku. 
Elepeo flew off and continued his search for a sympathetic koa. A makihi was flying among the lehua blossoms. Elepeo called out, E amakihi, my hoa, help me! E kokua mai, help me punish Kanaka! A makihi looked at Elepeo's sore leg and asked, What happened to you? The man, he, he hit me with a stone, answered Elepeo without any hesitation. Then a makihi frowned and asked, Whose fault is it? But I didn't even touch him, said Elepayo. All I did was pack a small little puka in his wivai. It was just a tiny little puka. No big thing. Amakihi said, Served you right, and began to laugh. You deserve that pain in your vavai. The Manukolohe says he was struck by the man's rock. But who is to blame? The blame is yours because you picked Kanaka's huevai. When you are mean to someone, that cruelty comes back to you. But if you are kind to others, the kindness comes back. Aloha ku, aloha mai. Elepayo grew hila hila as he realized what a shameful thing he had done. Sharp-tongued, he chirped, You're worthless, Manu. Amakihi fired back, No, I am not a worthless, Manu. You are the worthless one. And on top of that, you're foolish and troublesome. You ruined Kanaka's huevai, and now his young kiki have no way to drink. It's not easy to fix a huevai. Elepayo flew back to where he first found Kanaka and his huevai. When he arrived, Kanaka wasn't there. Elepayo realized Kanaka must have gone home without any way for his ohana. Elepayo felt terrible. He thought about what he had done. His hoa were all mad at him. His vavai was throbbing, Kanaka's huevai was broken, and his keiki had no vai. Whose fault is it? He thought to himself. The fault is mine for pecking Kanaka's huevai. I would tell all the manu, Elepayo announced, that I truly was a manu kolohe. Elepayo had learned it is better to give kindness and receive kindness. Aloha aku. Aloha mai. Now he understood. Mm-hmm.